Cottingley Primary has 265 pupils and serves an area of social deprivation. The school has resource provision for pupils with a hearing impairment and strong links with Broomfield Special School, a school for pupils with moderate and severe learning difficulties. Ten Broomfield pupils attend Cottingley on outreach. We have a very positive attitude towards our children and that's what an inclusive school has to have. We make the school fit the children as far as we can, not the children fit the school. Janet Hart is Assistant Head and Inclusion Manager. My role as Inclusion Manager is to enable children to attend our school and to put into place changes that enable them to be here and that goes from getting other professionals in to train staff in using medical equipment that is necessary, um, finding courses for our present staff so that they're able to support children with communication difficulties, to covering well staff meet other professionals such as the visually impaired service uh, and generally making staff aware around the school that we have to change what we do to meet the needs of the children. At Cottingley, deaf pupils are taught bilingually through sign language and English. In addition, peer learning and friendships are supported by weekly sign language lessons for all children, and some hearing children have achieved British Sign Language Level 1. This reasonable adjustment supports deaf children at Cottingley to take part effectively in all aspects of school life. I've got two children of my own in the school and I mean they'll come home and be eager to show us what signs they've, uh, they've learned so they're learning to communicate. Um, a high proportion of the children in the school have some measure of uh, British Sign Language as a second language. Um, if there's a public event like a school carol service or end of term concert then it's all, all the words are signed by the children as they speak and um, the signers to the audience over and above that. At Cottingley, the staff team includes deaf adults. We have deaf instructors who are um, deaf adults with high level signing le levels so that they are able to act as a role model for children growing up. They're, they're also able to support the children in acquiring a fluency in their first language of sign. Uh, and uh, support them in their learning and keep us uh, aware as, you know, other staff within the school of deaf issues. Communication support workers act as interpreters for class teachers and pupils within the classroom, sometimes working alongside deaf instructors or teachers of the deaf. The teacher of the deaf helps pull the team together and supports the class teacher with the planning stages of the curriculum and ensures that such things as the classroom are organised so that the teachers are not standing with the back to the sunlight, that the deaf children are in a position where they've got access you know, visually to all the information and helping us make the, the curriculum that we deliver as visual as possible which supports all our children because all children benefit from practical. Deaf instructors and two of the school's teaching assistants who have sign language skills provide additional support for pupils with hearing impairments who also have learning difficulties. At Cottingley, deaf pupils are taught both in class with communicator support and sometimes in small sign language withdrawal groups to build numeracy and literacy skills and confidence. Many classrooms are laid out for pupils to sit in a semicircular fan shape looking towards the teacher and whiteboard. It's an adjustment that's been recommended, but it's also that now our class, our, most of our staff's preferred style of classroom setting because it means that everybody is fairly near the front and everybody's got good vision of, of what's happening and feels part of the classroom. This week, the whole school is exploring the curriculum through activities on the theme of space. To support this, one of the deaf instructors is teaching staff additional signs and ensuring that they have the appropriate sign language to support the space curriculum. Planning time is built into every half term so that staff, including staff from Broomfield Special School, can all meet and share ideas and plan the curriculum to best meet all pupils' needs. I think the most important advice to anyone is to give people time to talk, allow them to be honest 
um, make sure that there are weekly meetings to begin with, maybe then fortnightly or monthly, so people can talk about you know, what's going well and their successes, but also air their grievances, solve the problems. What kinds of adjustments does the school make to support other disabled pupils? A lot of our pupils have challenging behaviour. We have some very young children with very challenging behaviour as well, some on the autistic spectrum. We have a pupil development centre here which is funded through Excellence in Cities through the, the primary learning support unit funding. That's, they provide a service to all of the schools in this area, but they also obviously provide a service for ourselves. And they uh, run sessional work for children from year one to year six to de help develop social and emotional skills. So we're able to actually prevent many children from developing more challenging behaviour by working with them when they're young. Pupils are referred to staff at the Pupil Development Centre and after an assessment attend for group work with their peers. We tend to, to really work um, in, in groups because uh, a lot of these children can, can work quite well one-to-one -one and it's, it's getting along with peers that is, is sort of the barrier. In, in any given group, um, a sort of, um, we might have five targeted children and then we'd always have three role models, three children who, who are getting it right. We would, you know, we would always seek to have some positive uh, role models. So they'll be referred to us and they will come sessionally so we don't have a reintegration issue. And they, they would come no more than twice a week. They might have a one-to-one -one session as well as, um, but generally, as I say, they do come in a group. One room within the Pupil Development Centre has been especially decorated by staff to provide a calming atmosphere. We do small group work and we do one-to-ones with children and with parents and with staff and they learn how to become and stay calm. I would say it's the most used room in the whole of the centre. We have lots of good results and the children love it. Cottingley School welcomes partnerships with outside agencies to support disabled pupils and a project run by the Child and Mental Health Service works within the school part of each week to support pupils with mental health issues and their families. Recognising the benefits that the Child and Mental Health Project has brought to pupils and staff, Cottingley School plans to continue some of this work by buying in local counselling services. Children are naturally inclusive, I believe that, and children are naturally caring if you allow them to be. Working with inclusion, working with a number of children whose needs are very, very different, offers all children a chance to you know, genuinely try and care for and include others without it being uncool. Um, it's cool here to, to include others. We're proud of our differences. We don't say everybody's the same at all. We say everybody's different. Our children are very protective and very quick to say, no, you don't call someone names, no, you don't make fun of them or laugh at them because they're different. She's like that because that's how she is. He behaves like that because that's how he behaves. Yeah.